Princess Diana passed away in 1997 at age 36 in a crash in Paris, after the car in which she was traveling with her Egyptian-born boyfriend Dodi Fayed was chased by paparazzi. Prince Harry were just 12 and Prince Wee Island 15 at the time of their mums passed away. Prince Harry is now back in the United Kingdom to attend a statue unveiling honoring his late mother, Princess Diana, which would have marked her 60th birthday, next week. Prince Harry, who American wife Meghan is biracial, spoke of racist reporting in the mainstream British press about his wife, as well as abuse on social media. Meghan has said her experience in Britain drove her to thoughts of suicide when she was pregnant with their first son Archie. In the documentary, Harry spoke of walking behind Diana's coffin through the streets of London with his brother William, father Prince Charles and uncle Charles Spencer. The thing I remember most was the sound of the horse's hooves going along the mall, he said. It was like I was outside my body, just walking along, doing what was expected of me showing one-tenth of the emotion that everyone was showing. When I think of my mum, the first thing that comes to mind is always the same one over and over again. Strapped in the car, seatbelt across, Harry says in the first ten minutes of the show. My mother driving, being chased by three, four, five mopeds with paparazzi on. She was almost unable to drive because of the tears, he was only a child at the time, he says, but he felt so helpless being too young. Being a guy, but too young to be able to help a woman. In this case, your mother. And that happened every single day. Every single day until the day she died, he said. Harry said he buried his feelings, but drank heavily and suffered panic attacks and anxiety in his twenties, and still freaks out when he sees cameras. I was so angry with what happened to her, Diana, and the fact there was no justice at all, the same people who chased her through that tunnel photographed her dying on the backseat of that car, he said. The clicking of cameras, and the flash of cameras makes my blood boil. It makes me angry. It takes me back to what happened to my mum, what I experienced as a kid. Even now, at age 36, he said that returning to London makes him feel tense and hunted. Harry said he started serious therapy almost five years ago, when he met Meghan Markle. I quickly established that if this relationship was going to work, I had to deal with my past, he said. The couple married in May 2018. Since relocating to California, Prince Harry has said that his wife's mental health had improved. Princess Diana is one of the most photographed women on the planet after she married into the British royal family. She passed away in a car crash in Paris in 1997 after being followed through the streets by photographers. Her funeral was watched by hundreds of millions of people around the world. However this is not the first time that Prince Harry has compared Princess Diana and his and Meghan Markle's situation. In the Sussex's shocking Oprah interview earlier this year, he spoke of his relief that he was there to support Meghan through all they'd been through. Thank you for watching videos. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos our. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos.